Good morning guys and welcome back. It's really freaking early right now and uh, it's beautiful out actually so I'm really freaking pumped. Well guys, you guessed it, we're going freaking fishing today. Uh, this is Ian, the owner of River Rat and uh, you guys probably remember in the last video uh, those cool little divers that we used to try to catch those walleyes. He made them. So, he hit me up last night, a little spontaneous trip. He was like, yo, let's get out, uh, try to catch some salmon this morning in this little freaking sweet rig that he's got here. And uh, we're gonna give it hell today. We don't really know what's in store. Um, weather's supposed to be really crappy today. Pink sky in morning, sailor's warning, something like that. Uh, but we're gonna give it hell. This dude knows what he's doing. Uh, freaking slayer. So we might get into some salmon, we might get into some lake trout, we might get even uh, into some toothy uh, predators today. Who knows? It's a little bumpy out here this, this morning, guys. Just a little bit, though. We should be fine. By the way guys, maybe a bad time to say it, but this video is sponsored by the Tackle Box. If you guys don't know what the Tackle Box is, they are a local bait shop in our area and uh, they take care of the boys. So make sure you guys go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, go like them on Facebook, show them some love. They just made a new Facebook page, so go check that out. All right guys, we out here right now. About to uh, drop the old cannonball down and uh, hopefully catch a salmon. But I'm not picky today, guys. If we catch a laker, that's cool. If we really catch anything, I'm cool with that. Smallies, whatever. So we're at a notorious <laughs> roller spot. <laughs> Almost busted it, guys. You know what? I'm sitting down for a minute. Yeah, I'm sitting down for a minute, guys. My boat's a little steady. <laughs> He's not steering right now. But, um, yeah, so there's some pretty big waves out here, guys. Check them out. They are uh, rocking this boat right now. This is probably the roughest I've ever been on Lake Champlain. Um, yeah, we're dropping back right now. How far back uh, do you want to share that information? Yeah, I'm going to start around 35 to 40, um, and then we'll go from there. Cool. Yeah, so I, I don't troll, guys. Um, you've probably never really seen a video of me trolling. Um, but this, this is the basic gist of it. Hook it, um, throw it back 30, 35 feet, let it sink. He's gonna hook it onto this cool little machine, which is called a downrigger. And um, it's got this big kind of like cannonball. There's probably different sizes that you hook on them for different depths. Yeah, I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. I'm just watching him, so. Basically kind of on like a guided charter today, eh? Nice little free charger. You want you want a little 150 bucks out there? <laughs> All right, y'all. One, two, three, four. We're all set up. The dudes next to us are actually hooked up. You can't see them, but they're hooked up. And uh, anytime now, it's gonna happen. I'm feeling good, bro. These freaking waves, man. Look at this. Oh my god. Talk about surfing, y'all. If you get seasick, today's not the day for you. <laughs> and I don't know if I get seasick. We're gonna find out today. Ian is seeing fish on the fish finder, and uh, they're coming up and munching on the uh, big old bait balls. So hopefully one of these spoons or divers gets choked. We're uh, contemplating putting one on a uh, planer board. So we'll see what happens. I think it's gonna happen, though. It's really crappy out. Fish on, fish on, fish on. So quick, dude. Bounced off? No, I think he's still on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's still, oh fuck, lost it. Oh. <laughs> it's part of the game, baby. Uh, we just had a fish on, probably a salmon too. Uh, we're gonna say it's a salmon. On the lucky spoon? I don't know, maybe my cheater popped off. Oh. I don't have my cheater anymore. Oh, I gulped it. Fish are here, clearly, and uh, we just had one bite, so uh, hopefully we get a redemption here in a few, but that was sick, dude. I don't know if I have another cheater either. I don't, don't think I have another, I don't think I have another one of those spoons either. Uh-uh. I'm trying to think what spoon it was. 
I know, it probably looks like we're out in San Francisco targeting kings right now in the ocean or something, but uh, we're on Lake Champlain today, guys. And uh, like I mentioned many times earlier, it's a mess out here today. But had a, had a bite, all the rods are re reset uh, again, and we're just hoping for the best, man. Uh, when the sun comes out from outside of the clouds, guys, it just feels so amazing. So nice and warm. A little ray of sunshine. The wind's kind of blowing this morning and it, it's chilly. It actually snowed in some parts of Vermont last night and it's like almost June 1st, so <laughs> friggin' nuts. It's on, guys. Oh, he jumped off. No, no, he's on. Salmon, salmon. Salmon. Oh, shoot, salmon. All right, easy guy. Easy guy. Yeah. He's hooked now. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Pop the pop the thing on that just so I don't break the tip. Yep. Dude, that's a nice fucking fish. Oh my god. He made a mess, but that's a nice fish. Whoo! What do you guys think? A little catch and cook? <laughs> oh my god. All right, guys. Beautiful male uh, salmon. Uh, landlocked salmon, Lake Champlain. Uh, it was about 17, 18 inches. A uh, little fight left in it. <laughs> but uh, this one's going home. Uh, it's going to make great table fare. Um, and we're pumped, guys. Uh, Ian and I didn't really expect uh, to really catch a salmon today. He said he only catches about two a year. Um, so I don't know if it's just the luck or what today, guys, but we accomplished it. We got it done. And uh, I couldn't be more stoked right now. <laughs> woo, woo, calm down. Yeah, so we're gonna keep this fish. We're gonna uh, take care of it right now. Um, and uh, it's gonna, you know, be respectable table fare, so. Dude, absolutely incredible. I'm so hyped right now. Can't believe that just happened. Got a nice salmon on the side of the boat right now for dinner, guys. And uh, just like spe speechless, bro. Ian, Ian is a trooper right now. Captain Ian, <laughs> getting that snag out. We made a freaking mess on that fish, guys, but we got it done. Guys, by the way, we are going after the landlocked salmon. So Vermont, you know, doesn't have any ties to any ocean. Um, so these fish are um, lake-based. Uh, they're not um, sea-run fish, like the Pacific salmon, like Ian mentioned earlier, and uh, the traditional Atlantic salmon. But yeah, we are going after the um, landlocked salmon today. So no ocean run, won't be as delicious, but uh, just as fun. Ian just mentioned to me that uh, it's good luck to uh, sit down in his boat and uh, that's generally when the fish bite. And guys, as soon as we sat down <laughs> and got comfortable, that freaking rod bent, so. All right, we're getting reset up. We got all four rods out, but it seems to be the money is uh, the spoon that Ian's got on this rod, so. Um, every fish has come off that rod today, so. Let's go. Let's go. Second fish of the day, guys. Hooked up. That was so quick, dude. I think it's little, though. Yeah? Feels it. Show me a tank. Uh, what is that? That's a little salmon. Is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> no way, I've never seen one. Oh, yeah. Little guy, dude. I don't know if I've ever seen a salmon this small. I think that time we caught one in the river. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, get him in there. <laughs> Little dude, let's go. <laughs> salmon action is picking up. We got a fish on this one? I don't think so. No, 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 no. <laughs> Little salmon. Yeah, that was hey, that was still cool, dude. I would yo if we came out here today and we only caught those, I still would have been happy, man. <laughs> achieving that goal. Like, you know, it's not every day it's that you catch a salmon. It's good to see those little guys in here yeah. too. That means yeah. that 
We'll have more. Repopulating. And I know guys, we took a salmon today, but there's salmon in here. We're allowed a legal limit. And uh, we don't catch these fish every day. Like I take one salmon a year, if that, out of Lake Champlain. And this is gonna be my one salmon uh, to show you guys and educate you guys. So please no hate. Uh, we're sus very sustainable fishermen. We love what we do, and um, it doesn't get any better than this, baby. So. I call this salmon chop. <laughs> yeah, the old salmon this, chop. This is a little bit more than salmon chop. But. Yeah. Both caught a salmon today. Yeah. First one of the year. And I was just a little bit small. Oh, yeah, small. There you go. I can't believe that salmon actually popped the rigger. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't. Never mind. It was on the jet diver. That's was fine. it on the jet diver? Yeah. yeah. Fish on, fish on, let's go baby. If I can get it to the bow. Oh my god. Oh, Ooh, all we needed was a little phone call from Captain Zach. Make it happen, baby. You got the net? Oh yeah. Oh my god, yeah. I do. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm net man on this. Oh my god, big salmon. Big salmon. We're gonna net him to the left. Ian. Oh yeah. No way. Is he still on? No, I lost. Shit. Oh my god, dude. That was such a nice fish. Ian just lost a keeper, guys. That that was a, a nice fish. We we saw it at least. And uh, we got it just about to the bow. Um, but it jumped. Jumped and spit it, dude. So just remember folks, you can't catch them all. We've lost, we've lost plenty of fish. We've, we've lost more than we've caught today. And that's literally how it goes fishing. I don't care who you are, uh, you're always gonna lose fish. Just be stoked, you know, sun, sun's out. Friggin' it's not too hot, not too cold today. Woo! And uh, we're getting some action. That, that's all that matters, you know. Salmon, salmon are tough, really tough species to catch, at least in Vermont. Oh, it was pretty cool to see it come Oh, and it jumped. I literally saw it jump and go across the top of the water towards us. <laughs> so nuts, dude, so nuts. That, that's what's fun about them. Like, there's like a bass in that, or small mouth in that Yeah. Right there. Can't compare. Time to go home. <laughs> Uh, so folks, uh, it's slowed down tremendously, um, but we've caught some fish today, which is absolutely nice. Um, and the waves really aren't really helping. They're pretty consistent right now. We're rocking back and forth and I have to pee. <laughs> but uh, I'm good, I'm totally good. I'm super pumped. Uh, and uh, we're just out here grinding right now. Uh, it's maybe been an hour since the last fish, something like that. Uh, and I think we're the, the troopers today because everyone else left. Everyone else said, screw it, I'm not catching nothing, and they left. Oh, there's a boat behind me, but that's about it. We're sitting up. Uh, there's five, there's boats. five boats behind me. I need to turn around before I talk. <laughs> okay, so maybe the fish are over here. <laughs> and uh, we were sticking out on grind time over there, but who knows? Uh, we're just having a blast out here today, guys. Okay, so we boated one salmon this morning, which is the one that I caught. Now we gotta get Ian one. So, bathroom breaks commenced and we're gonna get back out there and hopefully he can uh, manage to get this one to the boat. What's going on? All right, we're back on it. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, getting everything reset back up right now. Hopefully, hopefully, we catch a donkey for this guy. All right, place your bets, guys. Which rod's going off next? I'm guessing this one. I don't know, I have on that. What did we say, bro? Might be little. What did we say? One pass, get the salmon. It's that quick. Oh, he might not oh, be little. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. Okay, I'm gonna come alongside you and grab this net. Yep, thank you. Okay guys, Ian has a potential monster on it. Now. Hasn't jumped yet. It might be wrapped in this other line. So we have the uh, 
bullshit show here. As <laughs> Ian referred, referred to it earlier. Yo, definitely a fish. Definitely a good fish. Yeah. Now the matter is of how are we gonna get it. I think you're gonna have to start reeling this rod. Come on, bro! Yeah! Oh, that, that, that's a... That's close to keeper. Yeah, we'll have to measure him and see. Yeah. All right, yo. 16 incher. Let's go, baby. Another keeper. And uh, we're super pumped right now, guys. You got anything you want to say, bud? No, I got nothing. <laughs> I'm just amazed. Great day. <laughs> Absolutely, dude. Nothing like a freaking mission accomplished today, folks. It really doesn't get better than that, dude. Like, seriously. This must be one of those Massachusetts signs, huh? Dang, son. Got that dinner action. <laughs> Little salmon filet, baby. Guys, you don't understand. A chunk of salmon goes for like, what, 20, 20 bucks? 20 bucks. 20 bucks a pound. Uh, we got it done today for maybe the cost of three dollars in gasoline <laughs> So super pumped right now guys super pumped. I know Allison's gonna be super stoked to enjoy a little salmon 20 inch salmon right there Just under 20. Let's go Yes, sir. It's a special delivery. Yo. Yeah, you gotta get some ice right now guys. You guys should know what this place is. We don't need to give this place an introduction. How you doing? Good. Yeah, dude. Peace out, man. Woo! What a freaking day, guys. I literally doesn't get any better than that, man. Getting out and hitting your target species is literally the best feeling in the world. Um, yeah, let's go enjoy some salmon now and uh, get on the little cooking vibes. So, we'll see you soon. Okay guys, back at the crib. So, truth be told guys, I have never filleted a salmon before ever. So, that might be a problem. But, I watched some videos and I know my favorite way to eat these guys is steaked. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna pop them on the grill and uh, go from there. So first, let's get this thing cleaned. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna remove the head. So I'm gonna traditionally fillet the um, hog dress this, I guess, like a trout. So make sure you have a sharp fillet knife, guys. Always important um, when filleting these bigger fish. And uh, so I'm gonna come in right behind the head. Nice 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna cut that head right off. Okay, we remove the head. Next, I'm gonna come into the middle of the belly. And I'm gonna cut right down. Ooh, lots of water, lots of water. Let's get you to the sink. Ooh, <laughs> okay. So always important to put newspaper down, guys. That's totally why I did that. You never know what you're gonna expect. So, cut right through the back, pectoral fins, right down to his tail. Boy, is that tough, ugh. That looks gross. And you're gonna get rid of all this stuff right in there. Unfortunately, gotta get your hands dirty. So get your hands right in there. You know what, I'll skip this part so you guys don't have to watch this. All right. Enough of the gruesome stuff, so I got a nice clean cutting board again, and I have a nice clean knife, and I also have a nice clean fish. So, we're gonna stake this fish. So, by steaks, I'm literally talking quarter portions of this fish, and we leave the skin on, um, just cause it leaves a nice flavor, it cooks nicely, and uh, it'll fall right off when you eat it. So. Next process of staking the salmon is I'm going to cut off all the fins and so I'll start off I guess with these bad boys, Just cut them right off. Try not to take off any real meat with it but you know do your best. There's kind of like a bone right here too so what I could do is realistically cut down to the tip right there. 
And now remember guys, this is my first time doing the salmon, so please be light on me. But boom, not much meat on there. Uh, realistically, there's not much meat on there. That's all bone, so we got that cleaned up. We'll just cut the rest of these bad boys off. Feel around, see what you're working with. This is all tough muscle right in here. So you're basically want to you're cutting this section off right here because there it actually feels like a bone or something. But work your way around it. Play the knife. And just kind of get it right off. Okay. So now it's time to stake this bad boy. We got all the freaking fins off, nice and clean. No bone, muscle, nasty. There still is a bone in here. Do not forget that, guys. I did not debone this fish at all. But this next step is um, staking. So we're gonna cut the fillets right now. Um, you could choose maybe like a one or a two inch steak depending on your preference you know what I mean but uh, I think I'm gonna do maybe one and a half twos today we have a couple people that are gonna be enjoying this so I'd say that's about good just come right down guys cut right through all those bones and boom you got your first steak let's go again Beautiful, beautiful steaks, guys. Check that out. That is awesome. I'm gonna go a little thinner on this one. Oh, yeah. Another beautiful steak. My God, guys, doesn't that look so good? Freaking fresh steaks, baby. I know that I cut them into steaks earlier in the video, but I did some more research and I found out that um, obviously I didn't remove the bones um, so I wanted to do that for the people that were going to enjoy this fish and um, I decided to take the steaks and uh, cut them more into smaller bite sized fillets so deboned them, got the little Y bones out, got the spine bone out um, it was kind of a pain in the butt, I had to use tweezers but uh, nonetheless we have a bowl of freaking delicious salmon and uh, it's going to be enjoyed by my wife and I tonight, and we're freaking stoked. Boom. There it is, guys. The freaking masterpiece. Does that look beautiful? All right, let me do a little explaining. We got the salmon. We got some fried zucchini. We got, I forgot what that was called, but we just call it Mexican corn. <laughs> and uh, then we got a lemon aioli made by this lemon. So, looks beautiful. We're about to dig into this. Oh my God, we are so freaking blessed. All right, taste test. I don't know. All right, guys, this looks great. Smell, I don't wanna say it. It smells like chicken. <laughs> um, yeah, first we'll try a place clean. God damn, that actually tastes like chicken too. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, that's good. Nice, flaky, no bone, salmon. Look at that, just breaks right apart. Nice big flakes. I don't know if they can even see that, but mm, with the lemon, it makes it so good. Some with this aioli. I'm eating like a carnivore right now. A Viking. <laughs> Viking. That's good. I actually kind of stole this recipe from Gordon Ramsay. So shout out to the Ram. The Ram. Props to you, brother. I'm giving this like a 9 out of 10. Easily. What do you got? Out of 10. 10? Mm -hmm. She's going 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, wow, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Honestly, guys, if you wouldn't die of mercury poisoning, I'd probably eat salmon every single day. 
And there's so many like different ways you can eat salmon. Sushi, on a bagel, friggin' cream cheese, baked with crackers and creamy sauces. There's just so many different ways you can eat it, so who knows? Maybe we'll do another salmon episode soon. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like and subscribe and click that little notification button so you know when we upload in the future. I want to give a big shout out to Ian Brett over at River Rat Custom Outdoors for making this happen. Seriously brother, I really appreciate you taking me out today, putting me on my first salmon from a boat. And um, it was just a blast learning how to troll and uh, you know, get the concept of that down. So. Really um, awesome to uh, learn all that stuff, dude. Thank you so much. Also, guys, make sure you go check out River Rat. I'll leave a link in the description below. Ian makes some super sick divers, and he also makes some awesome duck calls as well. So if you guys are into that stuff, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can go check it out. Make sure you guys show him some love. Give him a like on Facebook. A super fun summer in, is in store. We're getting ready to hit the road. We're going to Maine, we're going to New Hampshire, we're going to New York, Massachusetts, we're going all over fishing and we're super freaking pumped to be bringing you guys that content. Let us know what you guys want to see below, what you guys want us to catch and cook next and uh, we'll try to make it happen for you. Guys, we're out of here and we'll catch you on another episode of Angling with Alex. Peace.